Apparently, speaking you- of God, yeah. I guess God giveth and God taketh awayeth. Um, apparently, there has been a major discovery by these scientists involved in this cottage industry trying to promote the Big Bang Theory. Waves of gravity, this is reported by the AFP, that rippled through space right after the Big Bang have been detected for the first time, according to U.S. scientists, uh, on, uh, said on Monday. The detection was made with the help of a telescope called BICEP-2, stationed at the South Pole, that measures the oldest light in the universe. Apparently, they made this discovery like three years ago, and they have been studying and testing to make sure that their results were accurate. It is the first direct evidence of cosmic inflation, a theory that the universe expanded by 100 trillion trillion times, 100 trillion trillion times, in barely the blink of an eye. The waves were produced in a rapid growth spurt uh, 14 billion years ago, They were predicted in Einstein's nearly century-old theory of general relativity, but were never found until now. I just watched a video of a scientist, I think, from Stanford going to the home of a guy who had sort of enhanced this theory, I guess, and he told them at the door, we discovered point two something And like in half a phrase, the guy almost broke down. I didn't understand any of it. Apparently, the telescope targeted a specific area of the sky known as the Southern Hole, which is outside of the galaxy where there's very little dust or um, galactic material uh, to interfere with, I guess, these light waves. Um, I, I'm not going to pretend to know any of this. And this is coming on the same day that there is another report by a Nobel Prize uh, winning scientist and about 1,200 other scientists on the reality of man-made global warming. Now, because I don't understand any of this stuff about the Big Bang Theory, I guess I should just start criticizing it as being just some cottage industry where these guys with a telescope are obviously trying to make money by pretending the Big Bang Theory was real and just justifying what they did. Uh, the old, uh, the elderly scientist who answered that door on this video that I saw was clearly uh, just excited because he thought, oh, great, now I'll finally cash in. But uh, this is what those uh, climate science denialers uh, would have us believe, that all scientists are bunk, that they're just in pursuit for a buck. That's why... 1,200 uh, scientists came out with something like a 98% assuredness of man-made global global climate change. In this report, it was Mario Molina who uh, won a Nobel Prize for his work on fluorocarbons going into the atmosphere. I'm sorry, did I say uh, 1,200? 121,000 scientists made up this group that has put out this report. 120,000 scientists, all in the league of cottage industry scientists trying to make money off of this report, I guess. It's just it's just stunning. Just stunning. So annoyed. Uh, they always it's it's also just it, it, it's fascinating when I mean, you, you know, that piece in the New Yorker that came out, I think, an issue or two ago about some researcher who had discovered, I think, some type of um, 
adverse effects of some chemical, basically. And the industry went after this guy with not yes. just not just public relations. Trying like, to get that author. Uh, that yeah, yeah, he, it's it's on, and and you know, not just PR funding, counter research, everything. I mean, the conversation about how corruptible science is is actually probably one of the most important conversations we could possibly have. Right. So they not only do they make this ludicrous charge about the climate science, they cloud and undermine a whole other conversation that we need to have that incidentally they wouldn't want to have either. Right. Uh, big solar, though, the way that they are really, yes. really just influencing all this uh, climate change stuff.